All new at 6.30, a neo-Nazi group planning another protest in Phoenix more than a decade after their last demonstration turned violent. ABC 15, Zach Crenshaw digging deeper into the National Socialist Movement's upcoming plans and racist message. We do want to warn you, this story contains images of hate. The National Socialist Movement is the closest thing that we have now to the original Nazi party. They are the largest and most explicitly neo-Nazi group in the United States. That group now planning a, quote, legal protest in Phoenix this April. The goal is likely twofold. It's for recruitment and it's to let the community know they're there and these are their beliefs. Retired Mesa Police Detective Matt Browning spent years undercover with skinheads. He calls NSM a bunch of clowns walking around in Nazi outfits you know, yelling anti-immigration slogans. But he recognizes... Oh, they're straight up for real. And they know how to get a reaction. What they're really waiting for there is the counter-protesters to come in. Please punch me in the face so I can then be a martyr for the NSM. A decade ago, their playbook on full display downtown. A rock to the head, come on. and I'm still standing. You can't throw rocks, you can't assault people, but that's what's going on. Anti-fascist counter-protesters scuffling with police as they used pepper spray and protected the neo-Nazi group's constitutional rights. We're here to make sure that the peace is kept. Why are they guarding people that are causing trouble and dividing our community? Eleven years later, another stop the Nazis counter-protest is in the works. I think that it'll basically just be kind of like a shouting match. Oh, knock you the f- up. But that left-wing counter-protester who asked to remain anonymous has seen tension lead to violence, like at this Gilbert demonstration in August. We are going to resist their hate. We are going to make it known that we do not want them in our area. But it appears the swastika-wearing agitators are coming. It's a recipe for destruction. The hope is things won't end like they did in 2010. In the end, numerous were injured, two officers were hurt, and two people were arrested. Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. In a statement, the Phoenix Police Department said, in part, we will continue to protect all persons engaged in their First Amendment right to peaceably assemble. City of Phoenix says, as of now, the group has not applied for a permit to gather.